Hey guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about nursing home costs, okay? And what I did was I went around looking at different nursing homes online and tried to get prices and I tried to pick one and I'm not going to give the name of the place. I'm just going to give the prices here. And this was like a decent nursing home, a place that I would probably want to stay in if I was to go into a nursing home, okay? Because I've had a lot of people asking me about this. They have, they have ones that are... are less costly than this they have ones that are more costly than this and then they have other ones they said that the average cost of a nursing home in the philippines is thirty-five thousand to fifty thousand. now that's for like a, a low-end nursing home they're really not that nice they, they you know they're just not a place i would want to stay okay this type of nursing home is akin to what we would get back in, a, in the western world where they would take you out you get good decent nurses they do your laundry each week um, the room is nice, the grounds are nice, there's flowers, there's plants, there's a garden. Um, in some cases, this, I think this particular one had a pool. A lot of these places have a pool where you can go swimming, which is kind of neat. And th this was up to Western standards by most, I would say. So I, I picked one that was kind of like in the middle, okay? And there's, there's much more higher class ones than this, and then there's, there's ones that are a little bit lower than this, but they're still decent, okay? Okay, this one here, and I'm going to break it down because they have assisted living, care level one, care level two, and dementia. Care, assisted living is for people, obviously, that just need a little bit of assistance. Then you go to care level one, which they need a little bit more of assistance, probably nurses checking in a little bit more often with you. And care level two, where you're probably maybe bedridden um, or you, you can get out once in a while or whatever, and you need a lot more care, a lot more nursing care. And in a dementia patient where you're probably about the, the same as a care level two, um, you know, but that, you know, these are all different costs. And then they have semi-private and then they have private, okay? So the first one I'm going to go into is going to be um, assisted living. And I'm not going to give the name of this place because I don't think I should, I'm not going to try to advertise any of these places because you can find these and everybody in the Philippines is in a different area. So you're going to have to find your own, you can just look up nursing homes in the Philippines and look up your particular area and they're all over the place and usually a map shows up when you Google it too. You can you can look up the map to see where all these places are. At least on my iPad that's the way it shows up. Anyway, assisted living, okay, semi-private is 60,000, private is 75,000, okay? Then you go up to care, Le this, these are pesos guys. Care level one, okay? And that's the lowest, lowest level next to assisted living. It's for a semi-private, it's eighty-two thousand five hundred, and for private, it's ninety-seven thousand five hundred pesos. Okay, then you go up to care level two, it bounces up to one hundred and seven thousand five hundred pesos, and then you go to private, which is one hundred twenty-two thousand five hundred pesos. Then you go up to dementia, okay, and dementia actually drops a little bit from the care level two. I'm not sure why. I think because they have a dementia area. And it makes it easier for them to watch these people so they don't need as much care because they're in a place that they're kind of locked down so they don't leave or whatever. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm just guessing because I used to work in a dementia unit and it was, it was kind of easier to take care of those people because it's in an area where they can't really leave because they're worried about them and they watch, they watch them more. And they, they have, in some cases, they even have them on camera um, in some countries. Um, for the semi-private, it's 97500 and the private is 1075 okay? And that's not a bad deal. But here's the kicker, guys. This is for Filipinos. So you add 20% on top of that cost, and that's for Westerners, okay? Now we're going to get into caregiver costs, okay? Caregiver costs are 8000 pesos to 20,000 pesos. So I'd imagine if you're getting like a little bit of care, it's probably 8,000 minimum. You know, if you've got somebody private that you know of that you could hire, it might be a little bit less than that. You know, if they're coming in and checking on you twice a month or a couple times a week or something like that, obviously that's gonna change a little bit. But I mean, we're talking about 8,000 pesos to 20,000 pesos. The 20,000 pesos is probably for a full-time nurse here. Okay, that's, my guess is that's probably for a full-time nurse. Okay, so I just thought this was interesting. And they say, one of the places I went to online said the, um, the average cost of a nursing home, and I'm sure these are like the lower end nursing homes in the Philippines, was 35,000 pesos to 50,000 pesos. 
I didn't see too many of those on there, okay? I saw some of the, the Catholic organizations that take in the poorer people, stuff like that. I'm sure if you go to these cheaper ones, you probably have to fall into some sort of category or something, financial category or whatever. But I just found it interesting that it's a 35,000 to 50,000, and I'm not sure the type of care that they give you, because these, 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 this nursing home here covers your room, a TV, AC, um, beautiful gardens, um, your laundry, they clean your room every day, um, you get a locker, nice bed, um, they take you out to the mall occasionally, they take you out to do activities, they take you out to parks, um, things like that, which, you know, are things that an older person wants to do. You want to get out, you want to be able to still do things, and, and whether it's someplace that you, you know, even if you don't really want to go there, at least you're getting out, you know. Um, but anyway, I just want to put that out there, guys, because there is other choices. For, the, also, the Medicare and Medicaid thing. For some people that are American citizens, and, and I don't know how it is back in the UK or Australia, so I can't really speak too much to that, but I'm talking about Amer for Americans, you can always go back with your Medicare and your Medicaid and check into a, a nursing home back there and, you know, just check in there. But if, if you guys are getting a good um, pension or what have you, and some of you guys do, some of the nursing homes over here are probably actually better than the ones back in the U.S. in some cases. I mean, I know there's high-end ones back home, but I think the care might be a little bit better here because they can hire nurses cheaper, things like that. And, and I noticed these places were really spotless and clean in the pictures and stuff. And, and I, I know that they probably clean up for the pictures, but they, do, they look brand new and they looked really, really, really nice. And um, I'm thinking about going out to one of these and actually do a video on it sometime in the future when all this stuff goes away. It might not be for six months or a year, the way things are going. But I do want to do some more investigation on this for you guys to check it out. I think most of our guys, though, they have no, they, they don't want to check into a nursing home, no way, no how. They'd rather have their wife or girlfriend take care of them, and that's, that's the whole idea. But some, some people, when they get to a certain point, they have to understand that maybe a nursing home might be the way to go. But you can also hire, if you can't afford the nursing home, you can also go the caregiver route and get that. And maybe t have your, you know, talk to your doctor and ask them if they would do home visits if you got really sick or whatever your medical doctor, your regular medical doctor. And that's just some thoughts, guys, some of my thoughts, you know. Um, I just thought it would be an interesting, you know, talk about, about this here because I know a lot of people are asking, and it's kind of interesting, and I, I thought I could throw some, you know, prices out there so people would get a, a rough guesstimate. And like I said, this one here is a, is a decent nursing home. They have cheaper ones. I don't think you, most Westerners would want to stay in those places. You know, and don't forget, guys, these prices, you have to add 20% on top of these on the nursing homes because of the, the um, if you don't have a Philippine senior citizens card, then, you know, you have to pay the 20% on top of that. That's what it said on, on the, um, in the price list. So just FYI, guys, okay? But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed that, guys.